What is up, my brothers and sisters in Christ? As you can see, some of my stuff is no longer on the wall. That's because we're moving. Before we get into this video, I'd like to start with a story. This is not paper. Once upon a time, there was a really famous artist. He was the best artist in the land. He made lots of paintings. People would come all over the world to view his paintings and go, you know, nice. But there was this one painting that the artist made, the most beautiful painting he ever did, he ever created, the most beautiful painting. It was his precious painting. And when people would come all over the land to view this painting and adore it, you know, in, in um, the process of complimenting the painting, they too would be complimenting the artist. So, you know, someone would be like looking at the painting and just be like, wow, this is the most beautiful painting I've ever seen. And the artist would be like, thank you. It's, um, I like to say it's a reflection of me. It's my most prized possession because you're praising it. You're also giving glory to me too. Okay, so as you can imagine, the artist in that story is none other than our Heavenly Father, the Lord of all creation, okay? And all the paintings are everybody, all human beings, you, me, we're all beautiful and wonderfully designed in our own way. But then the most precious painting, the most beautiful painting, that is our Mother Mary. Before we get into this, I want you to open your sense of wonder like you are a child again. So imagine God or Jesus is the sun, right? It's this big ball of light that shines forth everywhere. Imagine Mary being the moon, okay? Where does the moon get its light from? It reflects the sun's light. So in a way, Mary reflects the light of Jesus. So if you know Mary, you know Jesus. So in a sense, Mary is the new Eve because Eve is the mother of sin and Mary is the role reversal of that and she is the mother of our salvation. Mary is the daughter of God, the spouse of the Holy Spirit, and the mother of Jesus. There is no greater bond between creator in creation in the whole universe sinless mary is a human being fully alive mary has zero offenses against god while we have countless god wants us to honor mary and in fact he delights in it she is alongside jesus a model of excellence and she is the masterpiece of god's creation like the artist and his painting. In Mary's humanity, the splendor of God can shine forth most fully. Oh yeah, also shout out to Saint Joseph, Terror of Demons, uh, the earthly father of Jesus, who acted as his spiritual guide and raised up God as a child. Mary is the perfect disciple. So Mary's purpose as a disciple is to point to her son Jesus. And kind of like with the reflection analogy, that's what she does. All of her light, all of her love, all of that comes from the Lord Jesus. Before we go, we discussed how Mary is the new Eve who will want to bring us back to God instead of ruining our relationship with God. Jesus is the new Adam who restores humanity's relationship with God. So... Mary, by her life, points to Jesus. And, you know, the Bible claims that, Jesus claims that no one can go to the Father except through Jesus. And if you want to get to know Jesus, 
the fastest way that I could suggest to you is get to know his mother. Because Mary knew Jesus as a human more than any of us could ever like imagine and fathom. Mary raised <laughs> God. As the new Eve, she is now the mother of humanity. John 19, 26 through 27. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Jesus on the cross gave us the best gift besides salvation that he could have given us, and it was his mother. Now, I hope you all have a fantastic day or evening or whatever time it may be, and I wish you the best of luck. Peace be with you, and God bless.